Hey guys, um, it's me. It's Monday today, so that means again, it's time for my quote for the week. Well, this quote um, comes comes at the very beginning when Clayton well when we see Clayton at 30 from being 16 um, from being 30 and he's um, describing his PTSD and he's describing how it affects his life so here here it goes It says this. Psychologists call what I struggle with post-traumatic post stress disorder, but I call it my own private hell. A torture that is never ending or a demon that has its hold Let me start again. <laughs> Psychologists call what I struggle with post-traumatic stress disorder, but I call it my own private hell. A torture that is never ending or a demon that has me in its hold and won't let me go no matter how hard I try. If I let it, if, if I let them, my thoughts would drag me down to, to a place. Okay. If, if I let it, my thoughts would drag me down to a place so dark and lonely a place where the, the depths of my despair would know no bounds um a place in my mind where the feeling is beyond description and to come into the light would be utterly impossible. I love this quote because it really shows how, who Clinton is when the story really gets going. There are two other chapters where we see him at 10 and then at 16. But this is where we see him at 30 really struggling with PTSD and really struggling to get a grasp, grasp on um, his fear and um, his illness. Um, I chose this quote because it's, it's not my favorite quote. I, I read my favorite quote last week, but it's one of the most jarring quotes I, I find. When you come to meet Clayton at 30, um, you see what a different place he's in from when you left him at 16. So that is why I chose this quote, because it's so... It describes what well the person Clayton is in 2014 uh, versus the, the, the early 2000s when he was a carefree uh, high school kid 
um, just in love with Florence. You see from this quote, he has real issues and real problems. Because the quote was so choppy the first time, I'm going to try and read it again more fluidly. Okay. So, here it goes. Psychologists like to call what I struggle with post-traumatic stress disorder. But I call it my own private hell. A torture that is never ending. Or a demon or a demon that has me in its hold and won't let me go no matter how hard I try. If I let it, if I let them, these thoughts would drag me down to a place that is so dark, so lonely, a place where the depths of my despair would know no bounds. A uh, place in my mind where the feeling is beyond description and to come into the light would be utterly impossible. Thank you guys so much. My reads are now up to a hunt, um, 380 and 81 reads and that's all thanks to you guys. So I'm getting close to my mark. So keep on reading and as usual, I will put a link in the description box to my novel. Thank you guys. See you next week. Bye.